Welcome back, beautiful people. It's Constance here, and I'm back again with another video. I go kill you with enjoyment, 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 enjoyment. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting videos. I do apologize. I've had a lot to do, and it's just been too much. I started school, it's just too much. But I'm back, and I'm <laughs> better. Today, I'm going to be giving y'all a hair routine, what I do on my TWA hair. Oh my gosh, there's not really much you could do on it, but I manage. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I do thank you guys for getting me to 61 subscribers. I really, honestly, truly am so thankful. I thank God and I thank you guys. I couldn't do it without you guys. So yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much. Road to 70. You feel me? <laughs> and let's get into the video. So the products I'm using today are not too much, but it's kind of... You know a substantial amount I am gonna use this essential oil essential 17 I'm, I'm gonna link all these products down below and yeah essential 17 and then I'm using this as I am leave-in conditioner and I'm also using this extreme wet line gel and I'm also using the Shea Moisture coconut hibiscus and yes I do use um, I don't know what this is called, but it's Blue Magic. I heard this is bad for the hair, but I really do like it in my hair, so I use it anyway. Period. I think it's grease, your hair grease. And yeah, that's really it. And I have some, and I have some water. So, let's get Um, I did wash and condition my hair. Look at it. Look at it. So yeah, I'm just going to start off with combing my hair. I like to comb my hair in a uh, specific position, which is forward. I don't know, I just do that a lot. Alright, so now that I comb my hair, I'm sorry for all that residue. I like to leave a little bit of conditioner in my hair. You know, it's conditioner. So yeah, so then I go on with just a little bit because my hair is not that much. I go in with a little bit of leave-in conditioner literally just this much rub it in my hand and like rub it through just rub it through all over so I know <laughs> okay just rub it all over the hair all over the hair and please comment down tips for me because I am not and that's your Lisa. I'm not that girl, but I want to become that girl. So just help me become that girl who knows a lot about her natural hair and stuff. And if you guys see me looking over, I'm literally in front of my mirror, so I am looking at myself in the mirror. Yeah. So yeah, after I do that, I go in with the oil. Um, not a lot, just a little bit. And just for the record, this is just what I do when I go out, you know. This is just what I do to my hair every time I have to go somewhere or just, just, yeah, this is all I do. So once I do that, I just comb it. And yes, you do see the white residue, but it's literally leaving. It just like melts all into the hair. And my hair does feel soft and amazing. Look at that. And comment out, recommend me some products too, because I'm really just testing out these products. And yeah, recommend products y'all would love me to use, and I will use it. So after I put in the oil, I just like to put in the Blue Magic, just for some more moisture. 
I love when my hair is moisturized. I never like dry hair. And honestly, I kid you not, I have not had dandruff ever since I did my big chop because ever since I did my big chop, I started caring more for my hair, oiling it, taking care of it, you know. Yeah. So I'll just put it. I can't really go and like put it on my scalp because I can't really part it like that. So I just like try to use my tips to like get it through, you see? So yeah, that's what I do. Oh yeah, and comment down below what hair type you guys think I am because I honestly really don't know. I really, really don't know. I think I'm 4A, 4B, but I don't know. So then I do comb it so that the product can go everywhere. Okay. So now, I'm almost done, y'all. My, my routine is not even really that long, honestly, because like I said, I'm not really a naturalista. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just sharing with y'all how I you know, do my hair and stuff. And yeah. So then I go in with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus. Well, I will attempt to do it, but I really don't know how to do it. <laughs> and then I just let the the white residue stuff like soak in and dry, and just wait for the all the white to just go away. All the white to just go away. I like it. Just let it seep into my hair, and then just look at the curls afterwards. Definitely not, honestly. Oh, 
but yeah, that's really what I did to my hair. This is how it comes out. <laughs> it really doesn't even look too nice. It doesn't really look too different at all, but it's okay. Oh guys, let me attempt to do my edges, okay? Please don't laugh at me. I don't do edges at all. I'm gonna top with water first just to see before I start putting any gel or anything like that. So I'm, right now I'm just putting some water on this brush right here. Crazy disclaimer, this is not my toothbrush. Yes, sure, you already know. What is that? This part will dry up, but that's honestly came out pretty cute. It's not that bad. But like I said, this part will dry up or I'll take a tissue. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Water, water, other side. Okay. God loves you so much. God loves you.